Hey folks, Dr. Drew Sinatra here. Well, I am uh, visiting my father right now in Vermont. This afternoon, we had the chance to visit one of my favorite Italian restaurants in West Lebanon, New Hampshire. Now, as a kid, I loved going here. They had like the most amazing you know, brick oven pizza and pasta and ravioli. And um, I had my two boys with me. We brought them there because I really wanted them to experience you know, what I had as a child. Now, fortunately, they had a lot of gluten-free options there, uh, which they didn't have when I was a kid. So we had the gluten-free pizza, and it was terrific. The reason I'm, I'm shooting this video today, and what I wanna share with you, is that gluten intolerance and gluten sensitivity, these are real conditions. Now, they're different than celiac disease, which is an autoimmune condition. And, you know, the non-celiac -glu non gluten sensitivity and gluten intolerance are definitely real conditions. And I think my boys have those two conditions you know, because generally as a family, we're gluten-free. We tend to avoid it, you know, as much as we can. Now, with gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity, you, you may, you know, experience gastrointestinal symptoms immediately, which may be like bloating, or you might get gassy, or you might have some abdominal pain. You also might notice some constipation, some diarrhea, or even alternating constipation and diarrhea. You could have symptoms that are outside the gastrointestinal tract. So you might experience some fatigue, or some headaches, or some you know, brain fogginess, or joint pain, or muscle pain, or just you know, not really feeling great in your body. And even uh, there might be some emotional changes that you might feel. A lot of people report you know, feeling more irritable, or their, their fuse is short, and they just don't have enough patience. The best way to really figure out if you are gluten intolerant or have a gluten sensitivity is to give up that food for a solid six to eight weeks. When I say gluten foods, you know, that includes all the different forms of gluten, which comes from wheat uh, and barley and spelt and a couple other glutinous grains, but mainly comes from all the different processed foods, which is, you know, like the pizza or the pretzels or the pastries or the pasta. Anything like that is definitely going to have high levels of wheat in it, which is going to have a high level of gluten. Give it a shot, see how you feel, and you'll likely notice, uh, you know, a change in the how, you know, how your body feels. And then the thing that you want to do is reintroduce it back into your diet after that time frame and, and really kind of see if there's any changes that you're experiencing. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.